What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Bold Clash P01 Hoop Power 1S LIHV LiPo Switchable Charging Board. So first of all, what is LIHV? Well, it is the high voltage LiPo batteries. They allow a charge of up to 4.35 volts per cell. Now the normal LiPo batteries that I know of only goes up to a charge of 4.2 volts per cell. So this charger provides both types of charge support. Now I don't have any LIHV batteries on hand, so I'm going to demonstrate this charger with just the 4.2 volt type LiPo batteries. So what do we get in the box? So let's check it out first and we'll come back to the charger. This is the box it comes in by Bold Clash. And we are given a battery strap, a Velcro battery strap. I'm not sure why they give you one of these, but you do get one for free here as a gift. And we do get some conversion cables as well. So let's go and check these out. Now, there are, okay, so there is a XT60 to the Dean's plug converter cable and we are given three of these micro to JST conversion cables as well so you can go ahead and charge your JST plug the 1S batteries with three of these cables and we also get this nice instruction manual and this instruction manual goes into everything that you need to know in very easy to understand details so it is a very very nice instruction manual and it shows you everything that you need to know about this charger so it is an awesome instruction manual so what is so great about this charger well it is an indoor outdoor charger first of all it takes a dc 005 input source for power so you are able to plug it into one of your barrel style connectors and this I got from my laptop computer and it works on it and you are also able to charge up 1s batteries using your 3s or 4s batteries that have the XT60 plug so you can charge your 1s batteries out on the field with another lipo batteries that's how you turn it on and that's what it does when it's turned on. So it is ready to go at 0 0.5 amps. So that is awesome. So you are able to charge your batteries out on the field. And because we are given the XT60 to the Dean's plug converter cable, we are able to use batteries that have the Dean's connector. So you can plug this in to your battery and plug this end into your charger and that will be supplying the power source to charge up your 1s battery so that is just awesome so let's put that on the side and let's take a look at the charger itself it has six stations uh, there's one two three and on the opposite side there's the four five and six and each of these stations have three separate ports to choose from there is the micro the MX or the MCPX ports in which you can also use this converter cable with the micro and plug this baby in to the micro port and now you can charge up your single cell JST batteries so that is just awesome so we are good to go out in the field to charge up your batteries now it also has a USB charge outlet port as well so you can plug in your USB cord and charge up your iPhone. You can charge up your iPad out on the field with one of your LiPo batteries. So that is just awesome and an extra charger for your phone just in case. Okay, so here we are charging up some batteries. I have four different types of batteries charging up at the moment. I have a standard micro, I have a MX, I have a MCPX which just got done and it is indicating by a green light, a solid green light, letting me know that it is fully charged and it also sent off a couple of beeps as well. And I got a JST on the other side as well, which is charging. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the display here. Uh, it is showing me 4.19 or 3P is full. Charge port number three is full. Charge port number four has 4.2. One has 4.2. Charge port number two has 4.2. So they're just about all ready to be finished charging. And this one is full and it is indicating that it is full. So just wait and let all those turn green and you are a good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functions of the P01 charger. Plugging it in. And it is powered on. And currently it is set on 0.8 amps. And by short pressing this button here, you can scroll through from 0.1 amps to 1.0 amps. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set to 0.5 amps. And uh, if you want to change the high voltage and the low voltage mode, go ahead and long press on this button for about three seconds. And it will show the all. And it is showing P. P is standing for normal LiPo. And if you don't do anything, it will reset itself back to the main uh, page. So let me long press it again. And it is showing P. That's for normal LiPo. And if you long press it again, it will turn itself to H. That is indicating high voltage. Now, let me... Oops. We are reset again. Um, let me go ahead and change it back to low voltage and short press it and we are going to scroll through each of the station and what power level it is on now we have reset again because we didn't do anything so let's go ahead and go back to the uh, first station it is set on p second station third station and you can scroll through all of the stations let's go back to station one oops that's uh okay station one and long press it and let's change our station one to high voltage and station two to high voltage and just let it go and wait about three seconds until it resets itself there you go we have reset now as you can see uh, station number one and station number two are intermittently glowing in green and that is to indicate that station number one and station number two is in the high voltage charging mode and the rest of the stations are not lit and not glowing that indicates they are in the normal lipo charging mode okay so let's go ahead and long press it and go into station one and change it back to p and station number two long press it change it back to p and let's uh, scroll through all six go back to the all and change that to high voltage so we are changing all of the stations at once to the high voltage so let it reset and now what you're going to see is all six channels or all six stations are glowing intermittently in green to let you know that all of them are set to the high voltage mode the p01 charger also comes with an error warning system when there is an input voltage that is too low it will display an error message indicated by an e-1 and when the input voltage is too high an error message will display an e-2 oops i was wrong about using my barrel stock connector from my laptop computer i plugged it in to see if it works and guess what it is giving me a error dash two message which indicates input voltage is too high so this cable i am not able to use so this is one smart charger and this charger also has safety protection built in so when you have a reverse polarity it will not charge and also, if you are overcharging, uh, it will flash, it will beep, and it will stop charging as well. And it also has a circuit protector, a short circuit protector. So when that occurs, it will just completely stop working. So it is just a fantastic little uh, indoor 
outdoor charger by Ball Clash, and it is the P01 Hoop Power Indoor Outdoor Charger. All right, so I got a few of my batteries charging up at the moment in which two of the batteries just got fully charged. So I'm going to be um, charging up one of my batteries here with the MX plug for to use with my King Kong Tiny 6. And I just got done fully charging my MCPX plugged battery to use for my Bolt Clash B03 B hoop with the B06 6 all in one VTX, which I have done a review on just recently. So that one is fully charged. And also, I'm charging up a battery with the micro connector to use with my Bluebird. And this one takes the regular micro style connector. So that is fully charged as well. And so, once everything is fully charged, I'm going to go fly some of my tiny hoop inside the house. So, there you have it, guys. That is the Bold Clash P01 Hoop Power, the indoor outdoor charger. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day, and we will see you again next time.